But now there's a different type of a lawless individual down here. What a down year for Valor Soccer. It's dangerous. Multiple break-ins to their cars, vandals wrecking a playing field. Some of our kids are all impoverished. And now this. This is ridiculous, Jonathan. Valor CEO Dean Aldridge says someone stole the team's $16,000 trailer. They just cut it from the space. They cut it right from the space. From its headquarters in Maple Valley over the weekend. It was right here. Right there. Inside, all kinds of soccer equipment and even donations for a food bank. It's an intrusion. Aldrich filed a police report and posted photos of the trailer on social media. So I'll send you a picture of what it looks like. Hoping someone would spot it in the wild. A tipster said he saw a similar one in the area. That lead was enough for Aldridge and his father-in-law to start searching on their own. To make a right into this neighborhood? They ended up at a house in nearby Renton. There's a guy painting it. That's where Aldridge confronted Blake Lyons in this driveway, standing next to a trailer that appeared to have a fresh coat of gray paint. And it looks like there's a bunch of black bleeding through and our trailer's black. He says the 32-year-old got defensive and would not allow him to inspect the trailer. Pushed him out of the way, I opened the trailer, and there's our Valor tents. But when Aldridge threatened to call authorities, tries to run me over with his silver Toyota pickup truck, and he took off. After sheriff's deputies arrived, they said Lyons had a lengthy criminal history with dozens of arrests on his record. Why are these judges letting these people out? Which includes nine felony convictions for things like theft, burglary, and possession of a stolen vehicle. And how are you still on the streets? This repeat offender is also expected to be in court next month for allegedly ramming Renton police cruisers with his car during an attempted getaway. Right here, taped right on the door. And to make matters worse, Aldridge says sometime in the past few days, he believes Lyons went back to Valor HQ and left this threatening note. If charges get pressed on me, I'm coming after you, I promise. That's a threat, we shut our office down. Lyons remains on the run. They gotta find him. There is some good news. Aldridge did get his trailer back and brought it to Fix Auto in Maple Valley. They're busy. There's still a lot of restoring that needs to be done. Scrub it, see what happens, and then work our way up and then see what we gotta do. But the crew, is doing it all for free. Got a young lady on it to start getting it off. Aldridge says they're now a part of his team. Mike, thank you so much.